Habari Zendo. Welcome again to another video and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new here, my name is Pili and on this channel we create content on lifestyle, beauty, travel and reviews of the coastal places. Those areas I feel you guys can actually come down here and check out. I will obviously make sure that I do a review for you. So, on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I make my own homemade fabric softener or softener. So, if you enjoy this type of videos, please keep on watching. Her alarm goes off and she gets up to watch the morning news. Doesn't work no more, but tells a lot. Guys, so you need very simple things to make your fabric softener. This I felt like I was out of the frame. Actually, my friend, you will ever see her. I don't know why she's always skeptical about being on camera. And I'm not going to edit this part out. She's going to show us how to make home bleach. Yes, Gloria. <laughs> <laughs> and she's lying. Actually, uh, you need very simple things to make the fabric softener. So you need this, which I don't know what it's called, but it is the base. It is almost the main thing. The main ingredient for the fabric softener so you need this and because i'm at the coast it's not as solid as it would be in a cold weather and then you need some little bit of color not a must yeah and then you need perfume essence actually <laughs> so let's get into the video of water hot boiled to the core and then um, with this, I just open and pour the whole of it inside. You need the water to be really hot for this to melt well. At times you may get they put this for you in a, a container which makes it easy for you to squeeze out. But in our case, it's been put in a paper. So we will deal with it as it is. Then you just want to stir this until it melts. That's why I was saying you really need the water to be very hot. If you are able, you can leave this boiling as you stir. This is a uh, fabric color. You just put a little bit of it in some water. You just mix a little bit of the fabric color that I had shown you guys at the beginning with some little bit of water then you just mix it in it is not food color it is fabric color if you go try get food color it's at your own risk so you mix it up so well then this is two liters remember this makes four liters remember this makes four liters so this is two liters you mix it in very well and then this is another two liters. Mix it up well. Then I'm just going to add my essence come perfume, fragrance, whatever you want to call it for the for the clothes. So for me, I'm going to do the whole bottle. This is a tropical mix, actually. So this is tropical mix. They have different, if you go to these shops that sell these products, they have different um, fragrances. So for me, I'm going with tropical mix. You can get downy, you can get star soft, lemon or something. So I'm just doing the whole bottle so that my 
Mm. I love the fragrance. Actually, I love the fragrance. It's so nice. So, um, I mix this in very, very well. Don't freak out if you see that it is this light because we are going to let this sit for 24 hours somewhere and then now we can transfer these to the bottles and we are good to go so um as you can see it's light so don't freak out if you see that and imagine within 24 hours this is how you have your homemade fabric softener that is very economical uh chemical free environment friendly and you have your homemade fabric softener and this smells so nice mm. but guys this fragrance is just out of this world like i can't wait to again try this one because i've, I've been using a, a downy fragrance so this is the first time that i'll be using this tropical one and like this whole room is now smelling of so i'm gonna put this somewhere for 24 hours so that means tomorrow midday we should be able to use this um, i'll transfer this to different bottles so that it's easy for anyone who will be washing clothes and imagine with 400 500 Kenya shillings you have a whole five liter of homemade fabric softener is it this economical now if you enjoy this video please like it give it a thumbs up and if you've been watching and you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe it really means a lot to me and more of these amazing and home economical videos coming up for you so make sure that you tell a friend to tell a friend that we have learned how to make homemade fabric softener till then keep safe and thank you for your support